Hey guys, good morning. Sorry if you hear lawnmowers. There's always a lawnmower going, but that's okay. It's better than construction. Today is Monday, and typically Monday is like a big working day for us. But last night, one of my best friends, Nikki, messaged me, and somehow she forgot. She goes to school in Toronto. I guess she was coming home for Thanksgiving, and somehow she forgot her purse at Wendy's in Kingston, Ontario. So she talks to me and asks, like, what are you doing tomorrow? And I was like, oh, I'm just working and then I also wanted to get this room kind of figured out because I'll show this to you guys after I had this like shelf thing I don't even know where I just somehow had it and there's all these holes on the inside and I have so many shoes a lot of running shoes and I didn't know what to do so I remembered that I had done something like that in my old closet at my old house where I just like took a measurement and then got some wood cut at the hardware store so that's what I ended up doing I'm gonna be kind of like making a shoe shelf and that's also what something I wanted to do today I haven't seen Nikki in such a long time one of the ways that my anxiety and depression manifest is that it like it like spooks me out of doing things like with my friends or like in general like even things that I know I'll enjoy doing like in my mind it's like oh like wouldn't you just rather like be at home lately I've been trying I'm not doing like the whole year of yes by Shonda Rhimes things by Shonda Rhimes but I am trying to say yes to more um, make more plans and that's something I talked a lot about in therapy because I'm like, oh my, oh my gosh, like my friends are gonna think that like I hate them, that it was their fault. Yeah, when Nikki asked me, like my first instinct was like, oh, like, do I, should I go? Like, is it okay to go? Like, should I go? But then I was like, you know what? Yes. So I just try and say yes to more. And then on Saturday, my mom's best friend, uh, Lisa, we've known her, like I've known her my entire life and it was her uh, 50th birthday and she literally looks like Jennifer Lopez. Like it's crazy. She's 50 and she looks like, so young and she always has her hair in a tight bun and it was her 50th birthday and there was like a birthday dinner and like a, a restaurant and you know my first instinct probably would have been like no i don't know everyone there like i'm so shy i'm so anxious i don't i'm not gonna go like, and i went and it was a good time and that's something that i've definitely learned uh especially dealing with my anxiety now that i'm on medication and had gone to therapy i heard karen kilgariff say this in a podcast once and she said anxiety is a liar like it'll lie to you and i'll tell you like oh I, i'm doing this to stay safe when in actuality i need some pore filling primer in actuality and something that i i just know from experience is that i always make things a million times worse in my head like in my head, I'm like, this is gonna be like, not. I'm not just talking about like specific things, but like everything. It's probably like the worst part about anxiety to me because like it just constantly is giving me worst case scenarios in my head all the time. There's so many ways that like, I just get such terrible anxiety about that. So all in all, I have just been trying to get out there more, do more, not be so scared of everything. Uh, and when I say scare, it's not like I'm looking at it and I'm like running in the op opposite direction screaming. But I guess like the anxiety, I'm just trying to be stronger than the anxiety and push through it. I would say my anxiety is very much like anticipating anticipatory anxiety if that makes sense like before I go somewhere I like run through every possible scenario in my mind every possible situation and so I'm I'm <laughs> I really try hard to silence those thoughts because they are not fun thoughts and they hold you back and I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that because um, you know, I think it's something like one in four people suffer with mental health issues and there's still such a stigma associated with mental health. I mean, I talked about this before, but I had a manager, the last manager I had, and when I opened up to her about, you know, why I have, why I had been sort of, I guess like a little bit withdrawn, she said to me, we all have bad days. And so to me, that shows that there's just still so much work that needs to be done. I honestly think that the term anxiety and depression is really overused. Yes, everyone can feel anxious and yes, everyone can feel depressed. But when you say, oh, I'm so anxious or um, I'm depressed, like I almost feel like people using those as adjectives instead of saying, oh, I'm so down or I'm so sad or this is really like depression and anxiety is not like a joke okay like yes everyone can feel anxious everyone can feel depressed everyone can go through hard times but when you are living with anxiety and depression day in and day out and your mind is just going a million miles a minute but then your body like you don't have the energy to get up it is like the worst thing in the world i don't want like pity or anything anxiety and depression is something so many people suffer with oh this is actually a little bit of a funny story and i'm going off on a little bit of a tangent now i remember in high school these advertisements came out with hillary duff 
and in the advertisement she was in a store and these girls were saying that's so gay and even in in high school I was very much like anti-bullying I was the one who got my high school to um, put in a lockdown drill protocol because when I was in high school, we didn't have one at my school. Yeah, in high school, I was always someone who was like uh, very anti-bullying. I was on the anti-bullying committee. I just always stood up for what was right, even if it meant people thinking I wasn't cool. But I remember people always saying, oh, that's so gay or using the F word, like not fuck, but like the other F word. And I can honestly say that I have never used the word gay as a synonym for stupid. And when people in school would say it, I would all, I was probably so annoying, but I would always go, don't say that. Like, gay isn't a synonym, synonym for stupid, and it was all because of that commercial with Hilary Duff. But anyways, I think, like, back to why I was talking about this, I think a lot of people use the word anxiety or depression, like, when they're nervous or when they're upset or when they're sad or when they've, you know, had a few bad days, and I think those are total, totally normal feelings. But I think like when people overuse the term like, oh, I have anxiety or oh, I have, and you know, who am I to say like who has or doesn't have anxiety, but you guys know what I mean. Like when you're suffering with anxiety, there's a difference between, oh, I'm so anxious, like to go to a party versus like, oh, I can barely get out of bed this morning because I feel like I can't breathe or I can't even eat today because my stomach is in so many knots that I feel like I'm gonna throw up and I have no appetite. Anxiety is not, is not pretty. Depression is not pretty, but we're stronger than that. At the end of the day, I think that is important. And I'm not saying that I've been in this mindset for a long time because I can certainly assure you that last year at this time, I was not in this position. Last year at this time was probably the worst uh, my mental health had gotten. Honestly, I went to Japan last year for work and so much of that is a blur like I don't even remember which is such a shame because it's such an am amazing opportunity and I wasn't even drug on drugs or anything like when you have anxiety and depression honestly like it's just like a blur that's how, how I can explain it it just felt like a blur and it makes you like say no to things that like you want to do and that's not good so um i know a lot of people have been asking me are you still on medication i am still on my 10 milligrams of prozac every day but i just think 10 milligrams is a good baseline for me to get me feeling more normal and more like myself and then i really think that you know um depending on the situation i think that it's really important for you to change your own habits because you know like albert einstein says insanity the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results so if you are in a negative place, but then you're not changing any of your habits, like eating habits or exercise or anything like that, you're gonna stay in the same place. Um, so for me, something that's been really helpful is even just like, well, with Bentley, he's not here today because my mom came and picked him up yesterday for a sleepover, which actually works out because I don't like leaving him for like a bunch of hours. My So my mom got Bentley yesterday, but like something that has really helped me is just even having Bentley, like and having to walk him every morning and get out and like, it's really, really helpful. And I can't imagine my life without him now. I like putting on this headband sometimes because I feel like it gets all the hair out of my face. Something that I think is really important when it comes to mental health or just even life in general, even if you don't suffer with mental health issues, um, one step at a time. I feel like our society today has just had it, made it so ingrained in our minds that you need to be busy every single day. You need to have something planned every single day. You, you can't just relax. And I don't think that's healthy. Like the way I feel is like we have one life and I want to spend it doing what I like. I don't want to stress myself out so that I can't even enjoy the life that I do have. And I want to do things how, how I enjoy them. So I would say my biggest tip is even if you, even one little thing a day is a good, is a good step in the right direction. Um, you know, some days, and for some people who don't suffer with mental health issues, you might be like, what? Like some days you don't have the energy to get out of bed and shower. Um, some days, you know, just getting into the makeup chair is like, oh my God. It's like, I can't do it. And like you, then you feel even more guilty because you're like, I can't even do this. Like there's people who do so much more every day and I can't even do my makeup and like, or I, I don't even have the energy to wash my shower, wash my shower, that too, but I don't even have the energy to 
do my makeup or take a shower and it's like you feel you beat yourself up it's a really bad cycle so you kind of have to change your mindset at least that's what i had to do and now like i make every morning on my phone or on paper i make a list of goals of things that i want to accomplish and i'm not saying solve world hunger is on that list or you know clean the entire house is on that list i try and get really specific and um write like even if it's something like make coffee, tidy up kitchen, clean dish, uh, clean dishwasher, empty dishwasher, load dishwasher, take Bentley on a walk. Like it just, if you're able to check things off, it motivates me and it kind of keeps me um, on track. So if I have a goal, like let's say this room is my goal, I wouldn't say like clean office or organize office. It would be like get shoes organized or assemble my shelf or something like that so that nothing is like too overwhelming because when you're in the pits of your like anxiety and depression or whatever, I haven't experienced other mental health issues, maybe AD, maybe ADD, someone commented that, I don't know, it's possible. You don't get so overwhelmed. And so it's easier for me to focus on what I wanna get done when I'm not like, oh, I have to clean the entire house. It's like, pick a, pick a smaller task. One thing I like about a house though, is I feel like there's always something to do. Um, there's always something that I feel like can be done and I need a closer mirror. So have you guys been watching, I'm sure everyone has been watching the Sheen Jeffrey series. What are you guys thinking? I'm actually really enjoying it. I think it's really cool to see the insides and out of the makeup world. I have so many questions about Morphe. I feel like Morphe is just like so secretive. <laughs> but I'm wondering, are you guys planning on buying the Conspiracy palette? Or what about Tati's palette? I know Tati's palette is coming out. I know I'm on a little bit of a makeup no buy, but honestly, like I really love Shane Dawson and I really love Tati and her eye palette looks so good, but I'm like, do I need to? I don't need an eye palette, period. I feel like I would regret not getting Shane's over Tati's right now because I feel like Tati's is gonna be available all the time, but I also just feel like she is one of the few big influencers who kind of like half morals. I don't know, is that fair to say? So I don't know, what are you guys planning on doing? Are you planning on buying Tati's? Are you planning on buying Shane's and Jeffrey's, I guess? We're gonna do blue liner today. Just to open up the eyes a little. With Nikki now, we're getting some pre road trip. Okay, Starbucks. Hi, can I please have one grande iced soy latte? Grande iced soy latte. With three pumps of chai. For everyone who doesn't get to experience fall, this season is probably one of the most beautiful and one of the shortest, unfortunately. But it's a beautiful, beautiful day driving with Nikki, listening to some Daniel Cesar. <laughs> Caesar. <laughs> Caesar. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day just catching up driving. I'm gonna get Nikki's back at Wendy's <laughs> shop to explain that story. Oh my god, I don't know how she did that. I don't know how I did that. But yeah, I know a lot of people say, I don't live in a place that has all these seasons it's or foliage. everything and all the foliage, but it is beautiful and it's one of- Well, at least we get to see it on this road yes. trip. Nikki, your purse is somewhere in there. Oh my god, it's in Josh, the manager's office. I called Josh him. Josh, the he, manager. He gave me the heads up. And then right down there is Panera. Ooh, yay. Oh, yay. I can see it. Spotted. Thank you to the people of Kingston who were good people and who, oh, chicken and waffles basket. I feel like we're in the where? US. DQ. Oh my goodness. Chicken and waffles basket. But, like you could do the fast food tour. They have Arby's here. Oh we could do the fast food tour just on this exit at Kingston. That's nuts. But thank you to the nice people of Kingston who didn't steal Nike's purse. To be honest, if I saw someone's Gucci bag and Louis Vuitton wallet inside, like I wouldn't take it, but like, who, like, you know, it's a little sketchy here. I don't know why they It's would. like right off a highway, like you'd think. We're gonna go get it now. <laughs> You've secured the bag. We got it. They were so nice and luckily nothing was taken. I know, I can't believe that. And now we're going to Panera because we're both hungry. We haven't eaten and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I think this is actually my first time going to a Canadian Panera. Oh my God, really? Yeah. Panera has the best Diet Coke. Diet Pepsi here. I prefer Diet Coke, but it'll do. I always do a lot of ice, some Diet Coke, and then before I leave, I get one of their teas or juices. Nikki got um, some pastries, an apple pie, some print cookie, and a scone. Just waiting for our meals now. I'm so excited to eat. I know. I know. I Where did you even find all these? I got regular mustard, mayo, and this hot sauce. It looked Ooh. interesting. 
ever since Mickey and I were little, we'd go to Panera, get the same sandwich. Did you get the same sandwich? Yeah, and I got the Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. And we'd always get Golden's spicy brown mustard because it's so good, but they don't have it here. I know. So we're just gonna have yellow we're, mustard. And But yeah. this is intriguing me. Louisiana, Louisiana style. style hot sauce. And this dessert. Because mm -hmm. we have to try the fall desserts. So this is what we have been getting. How long do you think? Like more than 10, like 15 years. 15 years. This is the only sandwich I've ever gotten. Chicken frontega, well done. Tomato soup, chips. Sometimes these are salad, but today. Okay, I'm the cheese salad. is like spewing out the side, and oh, it really? looks so good. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> we just finished up at Panera. It was really, really good. And Nikki keeps talking about. Uh, what's We're going to Bed Bath and Beyond. Bed Bath and Beyond. And so she's like, we're going, we're going. There's because, one 10 minutes away. Because there's one nearby and you know what? I live in Toronto and it's one of my favorite stores and she just moved. So yeah. I was like, oh my God, you have to go to Bed Bath & Beyond. And I've never been. She's never been to Bed Bath & Beyond, so. Not in like my, that I can actually remember. Or yeah. had really a reason to be going there. Yeah, so I'm dragging her now. And um, it's really cute. Like I really like this little area. Yeah, like you know what? Maybe I should start taking little day trips like on Saturday. Well, it's and, just like going to like Burlington, you know. Yeah. And they have Farm Boy here, which I know you love that. Oh, I love a good Farm Boy. And like you can go to the water. There's really nice restaurants. Swiss Chalet. Yeah, Swiss Chalet and Arby's. Montana's. Montana. <laughs> it's just and Denny's. And Denny's. Next time we'll go what to Denny's. more could we want? You know what, Nikki? For our 20th anniversary, let's just let's just, let's just come to Kingston. Okay, tell them what we're doing for about our 20th anniversary. So, for those of you who are new to my channel or might not know, Nikki, I've known Nikki since before even uh, what's it called, kindergarten. Mm -hmm. We met before kindergarten, and we've been best friends ever since. More like sisters, because when I think about my childhood. I don't have any memories without her. <laughs> like, I just all, like, Nick, it's just like Nikki. Yeah, like, like, we were together every single day of our childhood. We went to the same school from the time we were five until literally Seja. Yeah, until we were, like, 20. Yeah, so we were always together, always really close, and um, now she's in Toronto, so I'll probably be making a trip out to Toronto soon to visit her, because I haven't been to Toronto in such a long time. Yeah. It's our 20th friendship anniversary in 2020. So we think we're gonna go take like a trip to like Disney or something because we always want. We haven't gone in like how long? So long. Like I haven't, I haven't been gone, in so long. I haven't been in like more than ten years. Yeah. So we want to either go to Disney Florida or Disney California and like go to Universal to Desperate yeah. Housewives. Because when we were kids, our moms let us watch Desperate Housewives every Sunday night. It was like, like a treat. It, it was, was a like treat. it was like if you're good, if you get your homework done, you can watch Desperate Housewives at nine o'clock on Sunday. At nine o'clock, which was so late for us, and so we grew up watching it. And then uh, now I rewatched it like back in 2017. Yeah, me too. And now I'm like, oh my god, there's so much that I didn't get and that I actually love, got now. We want to go to Wisteria Lane, so we're either gonna go there to Florida Disney, but we need to go. Like, it's nostalgic. A fun getaway, us. yeah. Yeah, and we're just celebrating our 20th year coming up. Like, how special is that? Like, so many people can't even keep a friend for, like, a year. <laughs> or, like, a month. And not to say that we haven't had... Well, we had, we've had more issues when we, when we were in elementary. <laughs> I'm really not a dramatic person. Oh. <laughs> not a dramatic person. I, I hate having drama with people. I hate having, like, confrontations. I just don't like that at all. I just feel like it, the energy that it takes from you isn't good. Yeah. Um, but... When, I, when she says I'm dramatic, like, she means my character yeah. is dramatic. I don't mean, like, with friends. Like, I'm like, like, ugh! She's really easy, actually, when it comes to that. It's fun to catch up and just it's talk. Fun. Yeah, and it's, like, so We beautiful. haven't had that in so long, because I feel like whenever I've seen you, it's been, like, with other people, which is always fun, but one-on-one -on -one time And it's so beautiful, beautiful outside today, yeah. and we're, like, looking at the, the leaves, and we're exploring Kingston. Lots of nice storage options. Do you want to pull one out? What, this? Yeah. But how much is one? Like one is twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I'm gonna have them at winners. And winners is just this is cool. This oh, look like for the look they put like plates and mm. cups. I don't know if you guys know this, but in Canada we have milk and bags. I need to get stuff like That's that. That's really cool. The big one is really yeah. cool. Wow, I didn't even know they had that. Oh, how cute, Nick! Look, they even have a little scooper. Oh my god, That's, That's so, so cute. cute. Like if you have cereal. Yeah. Oh, look, they have three piece sets. That is like Whoa. so satisfying. This one's cool. That See, it's a drawer. Cool. And the spices oh. go like that. That's cool. Oh, 
Well. I like this thing. It's like so satisfying. Oh wow, look at these big lazy Susans. <laughs> this one. That's huge. Rise and shine. Okay, <laughs> these are real. Is this by DoorDash? Is this the brand by Dash? DoorDash? No, it looks like DoorDash. Mini Maker Griddle. Mini Waffle Maker. So it must come with like a bunch of different things like this. I think that this one is the griddle maker, that little mini griddle. And I think mean, these are the waffles. waffles. And but then the, the hearts are so cute. I know. Oh, and they have a big one. And that's the omelet maker, the Ooh, bigger one. Pocket and omelet maker. And the popcorn maker and ice cream maker. Process, unprocess your food. Try Dash. I don't know. Bacon Express. <gasps> what is it? It's like add bacon, like. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it in the Ooh, oven. Oh, Nikki, a, a jerky, jerky maker. No way. Do you like jerky? Do you also make like prosciutto in there? You could probably dry. Um, like, yeah, it's, you can dehydrate vegetables. Oh, that sounds gross. <laughs> I was just wondering if any of you guys use these. They're Ooh. like the happy lights. Are they good? Because it's <laughs> improving mood, <laughs> energy. <laughs> Energy. Um, let me know if you guys have okay, used one. And I also think good. that like you could film a video with this. Is it good? Yeah. Let's turn around. The lighting does look pretty good. You know what's so funny to me when people like set up their cameras in their car and then they get in and pretend that they didn't just get into their car oh. to set up a camera. Can you see? <laughs> I think funny? this light is like really honestly amazing. I actually wanted to get a happy light because it's good for people. Energy lamp, alleviate winter blues, fight fatigue, regain focus. But like. This is stunning lighting. Yeah, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to buy five of them. I'm loving it. Which one would you get? The big one? I don't know. Are you just supposed to hold it? Like. Well, I think they have like. Oh, this one is an. Oh. <laughs> I want one. It looks like a Kindle. That Make one's amazing. That one's amazing. Okay, wait. Let's turn off all of them. Oh, man. Oh, here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see this happy light. Oh wow, Nikki, you're actually right. It I actually... think we're glowing a little bit. That's the best one for sure. It's 54 bucks. Should I get one? That's not bad. This is 110. But this one, like, I'm really. This just looks like a Kindle screen that's broken. So which one would you get? The big one? Does this? I don't think this. Does this have a stand? I'll have to do some research and I'll. Like... Oh, here they're all here. Okay, look. This is no light. Not only will it make you less fatigue and alleviate winter blues and regain focus and concentration, it's also good lighting. There we go. Okay, I actually, you can get them if you look at my Amazon favorites video. It's way cheaper. I love this. Oh, what is this? The digger. It's like, you know, a Zen garden. <laughs> Whoa. To put all your CNC luxury jewelry in. It's kind of the ugliest shade of brown it's, I've ever seen. It's like a. It's like a mahogany. A mahogany. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is a weighted blanket. I always wanted to try one, but they're so... Oh, <laughs> oh ow. That was not comfortable. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to, like, soothe anxiety. Yeah, like a weighted blanket helps calm and relax, encourages a better night's sleep, like a soothing embrace. But they have embrace. cooling ones, which, like, I'm kind of down for. I don't know. I feel like this is something you would need to really try at home to know. I can see how it would be nice. Yeah. I feel like it's comforting. You look like you're on the big comfy couch. <laughs> they have an Ugg one. But this is the one that I'd get because look, it's just cool. Like it's like cold. Mm. I'm it's, always cold though. I, I just get so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I should get one for Bentley. No, you need, he needs one. Oh, I should get him a weighted vest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not the blanket, the vest. It's so cute. He needs it for his anxiety. How much is point large, one pound, medium? How do you know, I guess? That's for sure small. I feel like Bentley would be a medium. Yeah, but has anyone had a dog that they got a weighted jacket for? Because before <laughs> I buy my dog a $50 weighted vest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Let me know. I feel like he needs one for the anxiety. It's not even heavy. No, it's 0.55 pounds. He needs 100. Well, for your like five pound dog. It... He's 13. Oh, sorry. Oh my God, look, look at the price, look at the price. Okay, 
Okay, how much did we get ours for? When I got your and Tony's at Ulta, they were, they were like $30. We love this. It's so good. If you watched my last um, favorites video, I gave a tip. If you have been having trouble like I do to get volume with the roots and easy blow up for dummies. You should try the curl secret. Or aren't you scared your hair is going to get caught? What? The curl secret. Um, I just have so many Oh, they have, do they have one on, on sale? That's what I was just about to look at. It's on sale, I'll get it. Oh, it's 69. It's on sale. Bye. Think about it. Is this from The Greatest Showman? Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to record to you? No. <laughs> okay, so now we're looking at all these different mirrors. I got my mirror from Ulta, but this simple human one. Oh, wait, no, is it iHome? iHome vanity speaker. I had this one. I had an iHome one, but I, I broke it. Did it? Did the speaker work? Yeah. But this mirror, if you guys want to get a makeup thing, add it to your holiday list. It's very heavy duty. It's heavy duty. Nikki just saw these. That's actually pretty smart because sometimes it's hard to get out of it. Mm -hmm. It's like a little makeup spatula. It's so smart. I have been wanting a mirror like this for so long, and we just came across one. And it's originally a hundred and like sixty on sale for sixty. Not on sale, it's just $60. Um, and I, we definitely have some place we can put this. I love it. So I love it too. We even have the little poof, round that's one. That's so cute. I wish that my oh, office was like chair. done. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here because I did not finish. Look at you. You're all done up and then there's me. Um, I did not close off the vlog and I wanted to do that because it just kind of cut off. Well, I'm at Tony's now because we're going to work. But I want to show you... When I get home, I'm gonna show you where I put the mirror for now. I just wanted to give you a quick look at where the mirror is currently. Um, I have a few areas where I think this mirror could really work, but since this mantle is so huge, I was like, let's just put something up on here. So we have like some pumpkins, which will be down soon. This is a painting Mike insisted on getting. So I was like, okay, we can put it up. And you know, for fall and winter, I don't mind it. But yeah, this is what the mirror looks like. It's such a great, I feel like this was such a great find and I'm so happy I got it because I've wanted a mirror like this for a while. And even if it doesn't stay here, there's plenty of places, plenty of places that I already know I can put it.